Hello everybody, Pat here. I'm at um, Big South Fork. I spent the night about a half a mile from here up on a ridge. I'm at the Leatherwood, Leatherwood Overlook right now. Pretty place. Not a soul here. Not sure how much of this you can see behind me. I, uh, I like Big South Fork. But one thing, I haven't seen a soul since I've been here. And I've been in, you know, not exactly off the beaten path. A little bit of four-wheel drive stuff, but mostly just uh, just me and open spaces and a few mosquitoes. Just saying hi. Bye. About, uh, oh, what? I'm going to say 15 miles east of Jamestown and maybe about, hmm, about the same, maybe 10 miles north of uh, Rugby, Tennessee. Um... Hooked around all day on the trails out here in Big South Fork and found this off the beaten path place. And uh, mostly just making this video to uh, get a request from somebody on YouTube to uh, show the inside of my tent. So that's what I'll do here in just a moment. Here's my truck uh, set up here in Big South Fork. I found a place kind of shaded by the trees. Uh, I could have got a little bit closer to the trees, but I was kind of looking for a level spot, and I found a nice little hole there. Got my uh, grill going. Probably have some brats tonight. I lowered, uh, left all the air pressure out of my my airbags in the back to pull my back end down. I was almost level by getting in this hole. But I like being able to uh, fine-tune my my level with the uh, the airbags. Of course, I've got a portable air compressor to <clears throat> pump it back up before I hit the road again. Nothing much has changed about my truck. I'm process of boiling my brats now. <clears throat> There's my little convection plate. Love that thing. You can see we're, we're boiling my brats. I like to puff them up a little bit before I grill them. <clears throat> Same setup here. Some stuff here. I'll show you the inside of my truck or my tent. This thing goes up in no time at all, of course, as soon as you pull the ladder off the top and and, and uh, fold open the tent. Uh, basically, this is what you get. This is my Coleman. Uh, that just fits perfectly there. I won't need that tonight, but between that and this is four inches of foam right here. Really, uh, really comfortable. As comfortable as most beds I've seen. And I'm 6'2", and I can sit up in this thing right in the middle. And read, not hit my head. You know, sometimes you spend a little time in the tent when it's raining, and I needed a place where I wouldn't feel claustrophobic. You can see all the the windows are open, and it's quite quite cool in here, even though it's been a warm day. Um, never, you know, in the desert, you're always going to feel the heat, but overall, this is a pretty good setup. So that's the inside of my tent. As I said, very little else has changed. This is where I keep my tools. I can see that we're inverting. We have to do that, of course, to, to cook. There's my little cutoff, so my fuse. I don't know if I've mentioned, but I've upgraded my lights to those LED lights. They do help a lot. I put them down below where the fog lights are and uh, headlight conversion kits. So I'm liking that pretty well. Anyway, it's about 7 o'clock here. Very pretty place, all by myself. Probably nobody within miles of me, at least not that I've seen. <clears throat> so I'll talk to you later. Bye. Not sure I've ever detailed the uh, cool little portable fire pit I got. This doubles as a a grill. Now, perhaps you can see it's actually a three-part unit. There's that little 
oh, upside down pyramid thing there where you actually built your fire. And the great thing about it is it focuses all the heat up towards the middle where my grill is. And you should also be able to see that um, there's a little stand um, that the grill sits in. Okay. And that, that, that stand uh, is adjustable to different heights, just like a, a grill would be. And the little grill just fits right into the top of it. So you, it's really easy to clean. It's made by Snow Peak. And I find it to be a very handy tool. A lot of the state parks you go to, you can't uh, build a fire on the ground. You may be where, somewhere where there's not not allowed to burn on the ground. So that's why you need a portable fire pit. And this one has so many benefits. So I just want to show you that. I was in London, no some other seaport town. Set my foot in steamboat and sailed the world around. I was sailing on the ocean, sailing on the sea. Sailing over Hampton, my labor, how she might be. Hair as black as Raven, eyes black as coal. Cheeks white like lilies out in the morning. She went to church last Sunday, passed beyond by. I could tell her mind was changing by the rubbing of her eyes. Do you remember, my lady, when you gave me your right hand? Said that when you married, that I would be the man. Now you broke your promise, go marry who you please. The marble heart is breaking, you're going at your ease. Sailing on the sea, think of handsome my labor, and she might be.